everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to miss glow glow and the motivators what is going on happy wednesday morning to everybody i hope everybody has had a blessed day on yesterday i'm finna pull up the the verse of the day devotion of the day so we can get into that i hope the lighting is not too bad here i got all of them on i don't know they looking dim or it might be my eyes. So yeah, how's everybody doing? I have the coldest water bottle right here. The coldest water bottle actually has some really good sales going on. They got some really, really cool uh, water bottles now. Pretty, many pretty different colors. So you guys might want to check it out. And I'll try to leave my um, link down in the description box below. So, uh, check it out. Uh, and if you do check it out and decide to get a water bottle, the uh, promo code is Gloria 10. Yes, Gloria 10. Um, I have my cold water in the cold water bottle. I have my iced coffee right here. I have uh, egg omelet I tried to do. I'm not good with egg omelets at all. Uh, breakfast sausage and some uh, cherry tomatoes on the side. We're going to say grace and get into this. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you for blessing me, Lord. Thank you for waking me up, for keeping me, watching over me all night while I slept and slumber. I thank you for each and every member of my family, Lord. The ones that are close, the ones that are, are far away. I thank you for how you just bless them, and Lord, continue to keep us in the land of the living. Father God, I thank you for all of my subscribers and their families. I ask that you continue to bless and watch over them, Lord. Lord, I just thank you for being God all by yourself. Because you are great. You are almighty. You are awesome, God. And I ask that you bless this food. Let it be a nourishment for mind, body, soul, and spirit. I also ask you, Lord, to take out any of your family. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So, yeah. I don't know. It's looking like the phone is looking a little cloudy. But, um... We're going to go right here and jump into this. Right, we're going to be doing the verse of the day and devotion of the day also. Plus, I will be, um, I will be coming, um, doing my, um, Bible study series that I was doing. The reality of the cross, it will be uploaded later on today. So, keep a watch out for that. Have your post notification on. So, like I say, once again, happy Wednesday. God bless you all. How was you guys' day yesterday? <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can hear this little cold. Trying to get a cold. I think it's passing over now because I was a little stopped up. I mean, it's just a cold, common cold. So we're going to get back to this series and start the reality of the cross. I'm going to be uploading that video today. We're going to be doing this, uh, the verse of the day is coming from Jeremiah 29, 11, and it reads as thus. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. He said an expected end, not an unexpected end. The Lord said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. He know the thoughts that he think towards us. Sometimes it make me wonder, ask myself, you know, sometimes you can put yourself in, Places that you shouldn't be in, but because you refuse to wait 
trust and believe on the Lord, sometimes you put yourself in places that you shouldn't be in. It might not be where God wants you to be, but sometimes we rush, want to rush God. We tend to think of God as um, microwavable, you know, that he, we can cut him on and off, but that's not so. So, life can be very challenging, and life happens, okay? Life happens to the best of us every day. But we have to take it one day at a time and keep going, keep striving for that perfection, okay? Uh, that is so good. I love that ice coffee. Mm. The inspiration reads as thus. God knows everything about us and more. His plan for us are always for peace and out of love. Never for our destruction. God is never for our destruction. He is only for peace and love for us. He loves us. He's our father. Think about it. He's the father of the whole world, the nation, the universe. So... His plans for us are always peace and love. And it says God has always been concerned about saving his children. He's always concerned about us being saved. He wants all of us to make it to heaven. And even though he knows we are all not, he wants us all too. And that kind of falls into your own choice. Remember, following Christ is a free will choice. He don't force anybody to follow him. And it says God has always been concerned about saving his children. And save his children he did. What a loving father we have found in the almighty God. So that just make me think, it make me wonder that sometimes we need to just, you know, sit back and tell God that we thank him for the plans of our life and, you know, thank him for the sake of peace, thank him for his grace and mercy, you know, his endless love. And once again, that was the verse of the day and it came from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. And if we go to the devotion of the day, the title of the devotion of the day is called Temptation Produces Endurance. Temptation Produces Endurance. Every one of us in this world can say that we have been tempted. We are going through some kind of temptation, trials, tribulation. Ups, downs. We all have had some losses, some wins. And when I say losses and wins, I'm not talking about uh, uh, playing a lottery or gambling or nothing like that. I'm talking about losses in our life, losing someone we love. Uh, even a bad breakup, you know. The devotion is coming from James chapter 1, verse 2 through 5. And it says, we at times have to choose between two good or two evil. Sometimes we have to choose between good and evil. And I'm sure the book of James chapter 1 is going to break that down for us, okay? So let's... Let's pull that up right quick. James chapter 1. I have all my stuff in here. I'm going to do an affirmation for the day. And then I'm going to read a prayer card before we get up out of here. You know, I should have had this pulled up. But we ain't. Don't worry about it. James chapter 1, verses 2 through 5.
James chapter 1, verses 2 through 5. And it reads as this. It says, my friends, be glad even if you have a lot of trouble. Like I said, we all have troubles, ups and downs, go through trials, tribulation, have temptation. You know, we all have. It's life. It's life. And it say, my friend, be glad even if you have a lot of trouble. You know that you learn to endure by having your faith tested. The only way we can learn to endure is to be have our faith tested. Remember, faith is the evidence of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So faith is, is your hope. It's things that you hope for. And then it also is the evidence. It's believing in things that you do not see. Then it say, but you must learn to endure everything so that you will be completely mature and not lacking in anything. Number, verse number five, if any of you need wisdom, you should ask God, and it will be given to you. God is generous and won't correct you for asking. If you lack wisdom, ask God for it. He's generous, and he's not going to correct you for asking for it. He said, ask and you shall receive. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Okay? And then it say. Number six, verse six say, but when you ask for something, you must have faith and not doubt. So when you ask, you can't ask with no doubt. You got to ask knowing 100% that faith is the evidence of things hoped for and the evidence of things that you cannot see. And it says also, anyone who doubt is like unto an ocean wave tossed around in the storm. So you don't want to be that kind of person. You don't want to ask with doubt. You want to ask with faith, with assurance, and knowing that what you ask God for, that is what you're going to receive. That's why I tell people to study the Word. The Bible is so plain. It's so clear. It is. Even the Word said that the way is so clear, even the fool can err at it. You know, God, that's because God already knows we're going to make mistakes. He already know none of us is perfect. So he already know these things he already know, okay? He's not, we don't have an ignorant God. We don't. We have a, a powerful God. An all-knowing God. A gracious God. A merciful God. A loving God. So he already know all these things. God already know what's going to happen in your life, when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. And that is just a mystery of us not knowing our future. But God know our future, our past. He knows it all. And our present, okay? That's why it is good to pray. And ask God to move them stumbling blocks to pave the way so that you can be able to walk, even if you're walking in the dark. Ask him to, to let that his word be a light, be a lamp to your footsteps so that it can shine bright down that long, narrow road as you're walking. That's all God wants. God don't require much of us. He said, to whom much is given, much is, is received. God is a good God, and he don't withhold nothing from us. But sometimes when we want something from God, we don't know how to pray for it. And when you don't know how to pray, that's when you ask Jesus, who is God's son, who is your brother. Because of the death of Jesus on the cross, we became his heirs. We became his sisters and brothers spiritually, connected to God through Jesus Christ's blood. So you can ask Jesus to speak for you, to go to the Lord for you on your behalf. Because we don't know what to pray for. Sometimes we don't know how to pray. But the Spirit know how to make intercession for us. So that was the devotion of the day coming from James chapter 1. I would read the whole chapter if I was you, if you want to get an understanding of it. In the midst of your reading 
ask God to give you wisdom and also ask him to reveal the mysteries of his words to you. He will do that. God will reveal his words to you so that you will understand and you will see what it is that he means in his word. The word is nothing to be played with. It's nothing to be taken lightly. It is very serious. The word is even serious when you grow up and become parents or you have kids or be a grandparent or whatever. It is very important for you to know the word of God and to instill that into your children and your children's children and their children so that they will know who Jesus is, so that they will have a chance to make that free will choice to either live for God or live for Satan. Because it's either one or the other. He said, you're going to serve, you, you can only serve one God. The word said you cannot be scrabble of fence. You cannot be lukewarm. So, I'm trying to see how many minutes we done. Uh, so yeah, you just gotta stay in the word. Just gotta stay in the word. Get to know the word for yourself. I will be back, like I said, later with the video. We will be doing doing this series. I don't know if we are finishing today because it's a lot of reading, a lot of scriptures. Or I have a message that the Lord spoken to my spirit that's written down it is so many scriptures guys oh that might be what we would do today yeah that's probably what we would do today and then we will do this this video will be pre-recorded for tomorrow because of the other message mm. it's powerful it's all the word when I come to you guys telling you guys stuff, it is not just me. Yep, y'all see my little hair? I still had on my little cap. But yeah, it's it's not me. As the uh as the spirit speak to me. I try to be led and guided by the spirit. I pray. If it's something I don't understand, I ask God to give me an understanding to put within me the spirit of discernment. Because I want to be able to know the voice of the Lord from the voice of the enemy. But I just want to tell you guys I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Let's get our affirmation for the day. And then we're going to end this thing out. And I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Let me see. Okay, no Christian has ever been called to go it alone in his dark or her walk of faith. No Christian has been called to go it alone. None. We, that's why we have sisters and brothers in Christ, and we also have the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost who's walking with us, right ahead of us, in the front of us, on the side of us, behind us. He's holding us up, so we are never alone. And then another one is... Obedience always brings blessings. Obedience always brings blessings. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to end the video on that right there. Thank you guys for watching with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Happy Wednesday once again to all of you. Remember, we're all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace we have. Peace I carry around in my heart with me every day because Jesus left that peace here with me when he shed his blood on the cross on Calvary. When he was piercing his side for every thorn that was put around his head, he did that so that I may have peace and have life everlasting. And I speak it, I receive it, and I believe it in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I speak it on your life and your family lives also. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay prayed up, keep the faith, 
Guys, make sure you get vaccinated. Make sure you take your flu shots because whew, the cold season have already started. Mm -hmm. It's already starting. And remember that God loved you so, 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 so much that he gave his one and only begotten son. And I love you too. Until the next time, have a blessed Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, thumbs up the video, even leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless, and happy Wednesday.